Hello, Mythic Rare here. Thank you to all my A1 Day 1 subscribers. And then for those of you who are new here or just passing through, welcome. So, have you ever received one of these things in your diamond painting kit and you're just like looking at that like, huh? Like, it's in there with your diamond painting and it's the very, very first time. Well, trust me, friend, you are not the first and you are certainly not the last because I've seen a few more people ask about this on YouTube. So I thought I'd pop on here, make a quick little video about how this is done. This is my mini kit that I just got from Fallon Gems. You want to see my unbagging or lack thereof, uh, feel free to click the eye over there in the sky. Anywho, first things first is we need to pick a color. This canvas has 24 of them. So I am just gonna like make it easy and go with number 20, J is in Juliet, because that is our background color. It's the most predominant thing. So this is when you're gonna wanna reach for your toolkit. And then this one in particular came with a tray, a pen with a comfort grip, what appears to be a 10 placer, I'm just guessing they don't have actual numbers written on them. A four placer, some wax, and tweezers. And then this is something that is called a cover minder. That was purchased separately. Well, not technically purchased. I just robbed it from... Uh, one of my other kits. So if you feel like you are wanting to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time, feel free to pop on one of those multi-placers. I am going to just put on the four, even though it's like I'm more inclined to pick up like a 10 or a 12. I'll just put on the four for demonstration purposes today. So next, what we will want to do is grab the bag of the color drills that we picked out. So see number 20, and then it's number 20 on the legend. And then we will go ahead and plop these into the tray. And then see how they're all bunched up? Well, we actually need to get these in a straight line. So we will shake this gently side to side. until eventually your diamonds pull on one side of the tray and then you have rows. Next, we're gonna grab our pen and we're gonna grab our wax. There is a sheet of plastic on this wax that we need to peel back, otherwise nothing will happen. So we're gonna peel that and we're going to take the pen and dip it into the wax. And in case you guys are wondering, why do we need wax? Well, there's nothing in this pen right now. If I try this without anything in there, I cannot pick this up. So we'll press firmly down into the wax 
And then we're going to see a divot because the pen took up the wax and put it in here. So now we'll be able to pick up that nime end. Okay, now it's on the end of our pen. So next, we need to peel back the plastic that's over top of the glue. And because this plastic will want to flop over, that's why it is helpful to have a cover minder because these are two magnets. They will sandwich together. So if we take the top half and we place this down like this, we take this bottom half, slip it underneath the canvas to where it's gonna meet up with the top half on the other side. See, it holds back the cover. So now we have our diamond, we're just gonna put it down on all of the spaces that have the letter J. Now there might be like several hundred or several thousands, tens of thousands of these little drills that need to go down on a canvas depending on how big it is and how detailed. And this can be kind of slow and time consuming. So here's what we're gonna do to fix that. We're gonna place more than one at the same time. So we're gonna take this end, we're gonna dip it back in our wax. Gonna lift up and see how this whole entire thing is just full of wax. Now we're gonna pick up four. See, there's four on the end of the thing. And now there's four of them down on the end of the canvas. So you'll just want to rinse and repeat until your section is done. If you want to work on a small piece of this at a time or until your canvas is done, if you're just going to go um, and you're set on finishing it. But that everybody, is how you complete, not complete, <laughs> but that is how you do diamond painting. I hope this helps. See you later. Bye.